everyone. Uh, my name is Cynthia Nava, and I'm actually here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually here to sadly speak on behalf of a student um, who could not be here, and her letter will explain why. So it says, Thank you all for being here tonight. My name is Gabby. I am a second year ethnic studies major at Cal. I was supposed to be here speaking in front of you, but given the circumstances, I was advised not to. Because of my undocumented status, I have to be precautious. As I am writing this, I feel frustrated. I dream of the day when other undocumented students and I will be able to speak out without fear, a constant fear that we face every day. Every year, about 65,000 undocumented students graduate from high school. These are individuals who would greatly contribute to the nation's growth, but find their future circumscribed by immigration laws. After getting accepted to college, they realize that paying $25,000 a year is practically impossible for them. They cannot get a decent job because they do not have that piece of paper with nine digits, a social security number. That prevents them from qualifying for federal financial aid and most other scholarships as well. With that said, there are over 400 undocumented students in the UC system who, in spite of ever, every increasing waves of challenge, are working and succeeding at getting an education. Being an AB 540 undocumented student is challenging and painful. From my personal experience, I can say I have not only been affected by the stigma of being so-called illegal alien, but I've also been institutionally excluded. AB 540 undocumented students are probably the most vulnerable population in the UC system, and the fee increase has affected us the most, although we are also the population with the least ability to talk about it. Even before the 32% fee increase, most of us were already going through extreme financial hardship, desperately trying to make ends meet. Because of our situation, our lives revolve around a world of uncertainty. Many of us every day wonder if we will be able to graduate. The fee increase has affected me at a very personal level. I am afraid I will not be able to attend Berkeley next semester. My registration is already blocked because I have not paid last term's tuition. My family made the decision to migrate from El Salvador when I was 16 years old. I started to attend high school in Southern California and eventually became an honors student despite the language barrier and series of difficulties with every, which every immigrant to a new country faces. When time to apply for college came around, I became aware of the disadvantages I would face due to my AB 540 status. I remember some of my relatives telling me not to apply to a four-year school because there was no way for me to pay for tuition. I remember crying when I found out I had gotten accepted to Berkeley. I told my father, and he said, how are you going to plan to go there? I only make $10,000 a year, which is barely enough to pay for the bills. In spite of the financial difficulties, I was fortunate enough to get scholarships that helped me pay for tuition my first year. I could not afford to live in Berkeley, so I ended up living with a friend's sister in Davis. I commuted four hours a day and worked over 20 hours a week. I moved to Oakland the following semester. The commute was short, but very dangerous. I was chased twice by a man. I could no longer live in that situation, and I had to move to a place I can hardly afford here in Berkeley. I am currently in a position of extreme financial hardship. I was able to sign up for classes before I got blocked, but I am concerned about the future. Sometimes I feel like giving up because it feels as if the system is conspiring against me. The only things that have kept me here are my motivation to succeed and the emotional support I get from other undocumented students here who remind me of the fact that I am not alone in this struggle. It is painful to know that I am not the only undocumented student who has not been able to pay for tuition. Because of the block, I can't do things such as borrow books from the library, declare my major, get a bus pass, etc. I even tried to get an official transcript excuse me, transcript to attach to a scholarship application, but I was told I could not get one because of my registration block. Small things keep accumulating and threaten me to drive, threatening to drive me into the ground. I applied and decided to attend Berkeley because I saw it as a place that offered a world-class education at a relatively affordable price. In my mind, Berkeley was a place of open doors, of tolerance and opportunity. The reality is different. Things have changed. It seems that to some, the doors have closed. The noble dream of getting a degree at a public institution is becoming impossible to accomplish. We cannot let this happen. I encourage you to march tomorrow to get involved and show your support for the students' oppositions to the fees. Myself, the other AB 540 students, all students have the right to an education, and we must not allow that to be taken away from us. Thank you.